Welcome back and thanks for tuning in to another SpaceX Boca Chica News Brief. As usual, SpaceX has had their pedal to the metal and we got a lot to show you. It's always fun to see these big Tonka trucks moving the earth. One thing's for sure, whether they're moving local dirt or hauling in gravel and caliche, these things are always on the move. And these containers, they just keep coming and coming. They seem to be making some type of makeshift perimeter around the work area. Most likely is to protect themselves, the tools and the equipment from the harsh elements. It wasn't that great of a week for the crane operators, I might add. We had a huge piece of the onion tent that broke loose from the rigging on this huge crane. And the smaller gantry crane inside the ring tent also dropped a load. Looks like it might have caused some damage to the ring machine. I'm not too sure. But after a couple of hiccups and reevaluating everything, they seem to have got things back in order. They even managed to get a ring lifted and put into place and try to do some test welding, I believe. Still not too sure what those square cutouts are for. The consensus on the net says that they're definitely not windows, which I'm sure we can all agree on. The workers have been really quick about putting up the new onion tent. I'm guessing that there wasn't too much damage that happened to that big piece of frame that fell the other day. They've been pumping it right along. These guys here on the lifts, they've been really at it day in, day out, making it happen. Props to you guys. The relocation of the onion tent seems to be ever so slightly to the west. And uh, it's hard to say, but I believe both these tents are about the same size. You can also see the container barriers here that have recently been put into place. But what I really wanted to show you all today, and I know it's been talked about quite a bit since it went down, but it's the comparison of the hopper and the bulkhead launches. I've put together a side-by-side -side video so you all can see exactly how high each of them went and we can get an approximation of who the winner is. I started the hopper video just ahead of the Mark 1 video just to speed things up a bit. And before you know it, the hopper just reaches the top and boom, clearly we have a winner. What do y'all think? I mean the cloud from Mark 1 went higher than the hopper did, almost instantly. So as you can see, we've had quite a week down here at Boca Chica Beach. One foot in front of the other and keep moving forward. It won't be long before Mark III is up and ready to go. Well, that's about going to do it for this session of SpaceX Boca Chica News Brief. I appreciate y'all tuning in and checking things out. I'm here for the long haul, guys, so I'm going to be walking y'all through this thing week by week. One of these days, we're going to see another rocket in the air. And until then, Lab Padre out. <laughs>